everybody. So tonight is movie night. I guess uh, in this age of social distancing, pretty much every night has been movie night for us. But tonight the kids asked if we could have some popcorn. So we're in the middle of a movie. Oliver, what movie are we watching? Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War. So we put it on pause so we can make some popcorn. I'm a huge fan of popcorn. I love going to the movies. I like movie theater popcorn a lot. But if I'm making it at home, I like to make it in a pot. I really like that I can control what goes in it, the shape and size of everything. So I'm gonna get to making popcorn right away here. So here I have a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil, just enough to coat the bottom of my pan. And I have a little less than half a cup, about a third a cup of popcorn kernels. Put it on, turn it on, toss it really quick. So the oil, and then I'm gonna cover it. The oil is there to help with the heat transfer. So the oil is gonna coat all the popcorn and it's gonna help as heat makes its way into that popcorn. Each little kernel of popcorn has a little bit of moisture in it. As that moisture gets to its steaming point, that's what makes the kernel burst and you get all that popcorn in there. So when I make popcorn at home, it's all about real butter and salt. So over here, my daughter Lucy is, what are you working on? Um, What's in there? Kosher salt. Kosher salt, and what are you doing with it? I'm making it fine. Yeah, you're making it super fine. So when you go to the movie theater, you don't actually feel the crunch of the salt. So I like it when it's really fine and mixed in. What is that tool you're using? A mortar. A mortar. You got it. So the bottom part's the mortar, and this is the pestle. Awesome, you can keep going a couple more times until it's done. The most important part of this whole operation is right here though. So this is our butter. I'm gonna get it melting a little more. But when we go to the movie theater and we get butter on our popcorn, it's not actually butter. It's some sort of vegetable oil with colors and flavors and all sorts of other things in there. We're using real butter. Growing up, whenever I had popcorn, I would pour, my parents would pour butter on top of the popcorn, and all of a sudden the volume of the popcorn would shrink because it got all soggy. The reason that happens is because of the butter it has a lot of water in it. So what we're going to do here is we're actually gonna let the water simmer out of our butter. So it's, going to, it's just about melted. We're gonna let it sit there until it almost stops bubbling. While it's bubbling and steam is coming off, you know that that water vapor is coming from water that's inside the butter. Once you don't see any more water vapor coming off, I'm gonna shut it off and let it sit. You might find that some of the milk solids that are in there start to brown a little bit, and that's all right. It's really, really good flavor. I am gonna give my popcorn a little shake really quick. So as you can hear, our popcorn is popping. Our lid is on there to trap steam in the beginning, but it is on there to keep it from going everywhere because it's a bunch of little explosions happening. If you come over here and take a look at our butter, you can see that there's a white layer on top, and those are those milk solids. They rise up to the top. I'm still seeing a little steam. Now my popcorn here, you can hear, let's listen for a second. I'm not hearing much more popping. Once you get to about Two seconds in between pops, you can stop. I'm gonna open this up. Look at that. Perfect, right to the top. So my butter just needs a few more moments here. All right, so now I'm at a point with the butter that there's no more steam coming off and it's just starting to brown a little bit. Just starting to get a little golden brown. You can see right there in the middle, not cut quite to burn noisette, which is this wonderful, flavorful brown butter, but that's what we're gonna end up at, and I love it on popcorn. If I didn't want this to brown anymore, I would just pour it into something that's cool so that it stops cooking, because the pot still has a fair amount of heat in it. So what I'm going to do is add some popcorn to a bowl. I'm going to take and add some of my butter. Now, if you listen, you shouldn't really hear anything because I'm not melting any. I'm gonna to toss this a bit. I'm gonna grab Lucy's salt over here. Now, I didn't use all my butter. That butter is wonderful. It might look like I put a lot of, but of uh, salt on there, but it's really, really fine. 
So there's lots of surface area, so you're gonna taste it right away. Let me try it. Pretty good. Oliver, come over here. Yeah. Try a piece and tell them what you think. What do you think, bud? Perfect. Does it need more salt? Does it need anything? I think it's really, really good. Awesome. Very cool. All right. You can step out for a second, buddy. We're going to make one other popcorn. So if you're not loving all that salt and fat in there, I'm going to make another popcorn that I think you'll like even better. So I'm going to put a little bit of popcorn into this bowl. I had this little mister. I pump it up. It's just filled with extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to actually spray the popcorn. And I'm, I, all that spraying there was like half a teaspoon of oil. I'm going to take a little bit of rosemary, which we did earlier in the mortar and pestle. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And a little bit of real Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. So you can see that cheese right on top there. We'll toss that around. So pretty quick and easy. Two different popcorns. Be creative. You know, if you have popcorn every night, you're gonna get sick of it. But if you put some macaroni and cheese cheese on there, it's really, really good. You, you can put something like this, olive oil, any sort of herbs or spices or anything. But thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned a couple things along the way.